Yo, what is going on, YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys more ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword. As always, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you smash that like button for me, click that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below if you're enjoying this or not. So guys, in today's video, we are actually rocking a rain team right here with Charizard in it, which is awesome. We're actually rocking a choice specs Charizard, which means he only gets, well, all of his moves will be boosted with special attack, but we can only use one of those moves, but we can actually, actually forfeit that with the Dynamax. We're rocking a choice scarf Mallow Swine, which actually all of his moves are kind of the opposite. Instead of choice specs where he gets special attack boost, he gets a speed boost with one of his moves. Then we're rocking a Focus Sash Pelipper with Drizzle. He can set the rain. That's his ability. We got a Drought Nine Tails, rocking the air balloon so it doesn't get hit by ground moves. We got a Berry Duraludon, and we have our Swift Swim Ludicolo with a Life Orb. This team is awesome, guys. If you guys would like to use it for yourself, the rental code is right at the bottom of the screen. I will also leave a link to where I get my some of my rental codes. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first match for this video. This guy is rocking a Ferrothorn, Toxapex, Chandelure, Cloyster, Duraldon, and Dragapult. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This could do some work on us, but do we rock the Rain Team? That's the real question. He's probably going to rock the Ferrothorn in here, and I can see him rocking the Cloyster also. So what I actually want to do is I might rock him out with my Charizard with Solar Beam to be able to rock out or knock out that Toxapex right there. I can knock out that Ferrothorn with my Charizard. The Cloyster, I can take him out too. So that's what I think we're going to do. We're going to leave with our Choice Specs Charizard. Bring in our... Let's bring in our Mammoth Swine in the back. And then do we go Ludicolo? Or do we go... Mm, we could go our Life Orb Ludicolo. That could do some work. Depends on the weather situation. Depends on the weather situation. I don't think we bring in the Ludicolo without our Pelipper. So we might just go Ninetales, Charizard, and Mamoswine. Or do we roll out with... Let's roll out with the Duraludon. Let's go big heavy set team. Leading with our Charizard. Going with our Citrus Berry, Duraludon, and our Mamoswine in the back. So right now we're not going to be rocking out with our Rain dudes. We're going to be rocking out with these three bulky boys right here. This is what I like about this team. This guy... Actually has some things to counteract our range. So we can actually just go into our bulky big dogs right here. We got Charizard. And his ability is solar power, I believe. Isn't it something like that? It is something like that, which works out with him considering we are rocking solar power. But I believe he's rocking Toxic Pack. Oh, wow. Duraludon in the front spot. That actually works out fine for us. Um, we're going to rock out into our Charizard. So this thing is actually stealing Dragon. Is this super effective? It is not. It is not. What does Heat Wave do? Heat Wave could put a burn on him. And this uh, the attack will... Partially lower to use their special attack. So we're just going to go into a heat wave here. Try to put a burn on this thing. This will be our choice specs move for right now. Heat wave coming out here. I don't mind using it. I do not mind using it considering we have. Look how much damage that does. And we have. Oh, this thing's rocking T-Bolt. This thing's rocking T-Bolt. Oh, we eat it up. And we'll be able to outspeed, which is no big deal. So whatever you want to do, if your Duraludon does want to go down, we can start off with just like that. That's fine. I know my boy's pretty speedy. I know my boy's pretty speedy. So depending on what he's going to do, we're, he's going to let us take out his Duraldon, which is beautiful. Nice little start to this battle right here. And let's see who he actually goes into. I want to see who he goes into. Because we are still rocking the Mammoth Swine, which is Choice Scarf. So we can actually get a nice little speed boost from that. He's going to rock into his Dragapult. We are Choice Scarf. So he might want to rock into our... This thing will definitely outspeed us. We're just going to go for another Heat Wave. Save us for right now. Or save our... What's it called? Our Mammoth Swine for later. He's going to go Dragon Darts. And he actually lands this, taking out our Charizard here. So we're actually going to rock out into our Choice Scarf Mammoth Swine. We should outspeed with the Choice Scarf move and go into an Icicle Crash. That should be the play. That should be 100% the play right here. Because I don't... You think this thing's rocking Flamethrower? I don't think it would be super effective anyway. Because we are part ground in here. So we're rocking out with our Mammoth Swine. I don't think he knows we are Choice Scarf. We're going to go straight into an Icicle Crash. Is that what we want to do? This move will because first. We're going to go with an Icicle Crash. This is what we're going to go do. I think we should outspeed with the, what's it called? The Choice Scarf one. Let's see. He's going to Dynamax. Oh, jeez. I was thinking we should have Dynamax. I was really, really thinking we should have Dynamax there. I should have. Just imagine we would have got off that Max Hailstorm right there. But I'm thinking we can eat up a shot. But still, we kind of need to take him out one hit. That, that was kind of our plan. Let's see how this rolls out. Depending on how much damage he does, he's going to outspeed us and go into a max worm win. We should be able to soak this one up. No big deal. See, that's fine. We can actually eat that up beautifully right here. But I don't think we're going to Dynamax here. What's that going to drop? That is going to drop our attack. Luckily, this is a special attack move. Icicle Crash going to come out here. Get the freeze or something. 
no freeze, no freeze. That's fine. No big deal. I think we can actually just uh go into an icicle crash here. And I think our Duraludon can actually run the rest of this match out. Because this is two turns here. We're going to go into a Max Guard and then go into a Dynamax Duraludon here. We go into our Dynamax Duraludon, finish off the Dragapult with our Dragon move, our Max Worm win. And then roll out and have an extra turn going into, what's it called? Going into the third and final Pokemon for his team. So yeah, we're going to Max Guard here. Just to soak up a hit. Just to soak up a hit. But Dragon Moves... Are Dragon Moves super effective? I don't know if Dragon Moves are super effective. We're going to play it safe. We're definitely going to play it safe. I don't really want to take damage right here. We're going to go into a Max Guard here. But then he might go into a Shadow Sneak. Ooh-wee. This could be bad. This could be a close match. This could be a very close match. Ooh. I don't know if we should have went for the Max Worm one. I'm just going to Dynamax. Go for the Max. This is what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to Max Guard here. He's going to go down... Then he's going to Shadow Sneak, wasting all of our Dynamax turns, but we're still going to take him out. That's what I think is exactly going to happen, and it's just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. My Duraludon versus whatever his last Pokemon is. Right? We didn't see his third Pokemon, I don't believe yet. Let's go. Max Guard's going to pop out here. He's going to send another Max Worm win. Or Max Phantasm. Try to drop our defense, which is fine. Which is fine. We're going to protect ourselves. Yes, he does have that Ghost move. He has the Phantom Force, which, like I said, he's going to drop into it right here. See, I already know exactly what's going to happen. Do we go with the Max Darkness? It's going to deal more damage. Special Attack. Uh, we're going to go with uh, this right here. We're going to go with the Max Worm win. We got to finish him off here. Let's see. He's definitely going to drop into the Phantom Force. He's going to outspeed us. 100%. No doubt in my mind. Even though the Duraludon's an absolute beast, dude. Duraludon's an absolute beast. Let's see. Dragon Darts he goes into. Wow. Bold move. Bold move with the Dragon Darts there. I'm surprised. I am totally surprised at that play call. He could have wasted our turn right there. And actually not have... Now we have an extra turn Dynamax. Because he didn't go into a Phantom Force. Which is actually awesome. So we can actually still win this game. This game is totally winnable. Like I said. But dude, I am so surprised he did not go for a Phantom Force. Let's go. We still have our Citrus Berry. The Raladon still has his Citrus Berry. He's going to rock into a Cloister. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. But we are rocking some of these moves right here. We got Max Darkness. Um, Max Steel Spike. What do we want to drop? His defense or his special defense? Um, we are all special moved out, so I'd rather drop his special defense. With this Max Darkness here, he is rocking an Ice move. So this could be tough. Icicle Spear comes out. Oh, we eat that up, baby. We eat that up, and we still have our Citrus Berry. Oh, this is a multi-hit move. I forgot. He's trying to... Don't you dare tell me he gets five hits. I cry a little bit. Stop at three. Oh, my lord. Four. Don't you dare tell me he gets five. We're eating our berry. Nom, nom, nom. Look at all this health we regain right here. Give it all to me, baby. Let's go. Regain some health there. He hit for five? Yo, are you kidding me? What are the RNG chances here, boys? Like, what do you mean? Let's go. Mac Darkness. Let's drop his special defense right here. Oh, take him out. Ooh, we. All we have to do is survive one hit. And that is GG in a can. In a can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but he's rocking leftovers on this thing. I oh, know. He's, he's rocking a white herb, actually, which actually... Say he drops a stat like he just did, his stats go back to normal, which is fine. But we're just going to rock a nice little... Um, what are we going to rock? What are we going to rock? Uh, we're just going to rock a nice little Dragon Pulse right here. We're trying to finish off this game. Cloyster's cool, going to go Icicle Spear. He's got to hope for five hits here. That's what he has to hope for. He crit it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He cannot get five hits again. There's no way. There's no way he's rocking five hits again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it there. This thing got five hits again. Don't you dare tell me it kills me. Oh, oh my lord. That was his only chance. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Yo, we hang on by a thread right there. By five HP. But what are the chances of him getting two five hits in a row? Are you serious? And he... The boy turned off his switch. <laughs> oh my god. He was like, I'm out of here. Turns off his switch. Here we go, hopping into battle number two right here. We're going up against a Toxtricity, Corviknight, Gyarados, Hydreigon, Glaring, Weezing, and a Cloyster. Wow, okay. Okay, I see you, team. I see this team right here. We're going to rock out with the Mammoth Swine. Definitely going with the Mammoth Swine, considering that has ground and ice moves to actually counter a lot of his Pokemon right here. You can definitely counter a lot of his Pokemon. But, but on the other hand, I don't think we're going to go... Do we go with the Rain Squad? Do we go with the Rain Squad? I would actually love to go with the Rain Squad, but I don't know if this can actually work out. Because if he rocks at Gyarados front spot, I think we're going to rock out with our... Do we rock out with our Duraludon instead of the Mammoth Swine? Let me check out the Duraludon's moves real quick, because if we can rock out with the Duraludon, then we can still rock out with the Rain Squad. Let's see Duraludon's moves. You got Flash Cannon, Snarl, Protect, Dragon Pulse. 
I think that is exactly what we're going to do. I think we're going to rock out with the Pelipper in the front spot. Ludicolo backing him up. And then the Duraludon once again. Let me get another look at his team. I think this is going to be the play call. Is this going to be the play call? We can rock out with that Cloyster. Our Duraludon can eat up a lot. Are we still needing with the Paloops? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should we do? I think I think we're gonna rock out with this. Try to get this win with the rain team. We're gonna set, start off with our Pelipper to actually start his drizzle. His, his ability is drizzle. It will set the rain. Then maybe run into our Ludicolo, get that switch from rolling, and he is life orb. So if we can actually set this up, this could be a nice big fat W for us. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's see who he's starting off. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Gyarados. Not gonna lie, High Dragon coming out. That's not not too bad. We're rocking out with our Pelipper. This thing's not rocking a rock move, so we're going to try to put a nice little burn on him with a Scald. I think that's how we're going to be starting things off. Going with the burn. We got to go with the burn. The Bernie Sanders over here. It's, oh, it's not very effective. Hmm. Let's go with the Protect and just see how he's going to play this out. Let's see how he's going to play this out. Hopefully he doesn't go for the hard swap. That would be a mistake on our end. We're just going to Protect and see what he is actually rocking out here. What you got, fool? Dark Pulse. We'll eat that up. I think we can eat up a Dark Pulse. We go into Ludicolo here. Eh, no. We could go into the Duraludon. Hmm. We could go into the Duraludon. I think that would be a beaut. Go into the Duraludon. Rocket Dragon Pulse out here. We are rocking Citrus Berry on our Duraludon, which is fine. So we're going to go straight for this hard swap here and see what this Hydreigon does. I Hopefully, he hard swaps too. But we're going to rock out. Here we go. Duraldon, get out there, boy. This thing's an absolute unit. He's going to rock out with another Dark post, Pulse, which is fine. Which is fine. We can eat that up. Oh, wow. We didn't eat that up nearly as much as I thought we would. Nearly as much as I thought I would. But, wow, that is okay. We are chilling. We are chilling right here. We're actually going to go straight into this Dynamax right here. Go into the Max Worm win and try to one-tap this fool. I don't think we're going to one-tap him, but I think we're going to do some work. And we can actually be able to eat up another shot. That's what I think is going to happen here. As long as he does Dynamax, we could be chilling. We could be chilling. Would have been nice to actually bring our Charizard. I knew I should have brought my Mammoth Swan. That would have been the play call. Oh, he's going to Dynamax to that hunk of junk. This hunk of junk. This hunk of junk right here. I hate this guy. This guy's a hunk of junk. <laughs> this hunk of junk right here. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully we can get the out speed here. We do still have our berry. Did we eat our berry? Yes, we did eat our berry already. But we are also going to Dynamax here. Going to our Max Worm win. I think... No, we are not going to outspeed. We do not outspeed this Hydreigon right here. But, but, I think we can soak up a hit considering Duraldon's an absolute unit right here, guys. Absolute unit. This boy rocks out. I think we can soak up a nice little hit here. I'm hoping. He's going to go into his Max Darkness, probably. Let's see. Yes, Max Darkness does come out here. Can we eat it up? Yes, like I said, we can eat it up. And now we're going to get off a nice little Max Worm win here. I don't mind Max guarding out if we don't take this thing out. But our special defense does fall. Take it out, buddy. Do some work on him. Take him out. Mm. Nope, we do not get to take out there, which is fine. I think I'm just going to um, Max guard him down. That's what I think we're going to do. I think we're just going to Max guard this boy down. So he doesn't get his other Dynamax moves on our other Pokemon. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep Max Garden down. That's fine. That's fine by me, ladies and gentlemen. That is fine by me. Let's go. Max Guard. Yay. Get out of my face. You ain't touching my team, little boy. You ain't touching my team. And Max Darkness. Or we're going to protect from this Max Darkness. We're going to Max Guard again. Because this thing does outspeed us. It will outspeed us. So we might as well just waste his turns out here. It failed. We can't go back to back. What do you mean? I did that before. What do you mean? Like, I did this before. That's fine. That takes out all of his turns right there. But what do you mean? That's fine. Like, it doesn't really matter. We just did our job there. The rain has stopped, so that means we're going to go back into our Palooper. <laughs> Palooper, get back in there. That was all three of his turns, right? He went Max Darkness, hit us, then we protected one, and now we just use another one. Okay, that is all three of his turns. We're going to go in the Pelipper, drop the Drizzle back going here, because... Our last chance would be taking out this Hydreigon right here. Do we go for the Scald or do we go for the... I think we go for the Hurricane right here. Even though our Scald would do some a little bit more damage in the rain. We're going to go straight for this Hurricane. 
and try to get the confuse on him because if he switches out too thinking we're gonna go for a rain move that's fine by me too because we're rocking hurricane and we can possibly get a confusion on here which would be nice let's see what he does let's see what this boy does yo how's this thing flying there's no way his little three wings on each side could support him not pelper hydragon pelper's got some big meaty wings she's like oh oh <laughs> This guy, this guy's gonna rock out Dark Pulse. We'll eat that up. We're fine. We're chilling. We are chilling. We have our Focus Ash on anyway. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Are you serious? Are you serious? We really flinched there? This game's an absolute joke. Absolute joke. We're gonna go into Ludicolo here. Bogus, man. Absolute joke. Absolute joke that we flinched there. All the times I use a flinch move and it doesn't pop off. What do you mean? <laughs> do we go into a weather ball? Or do we go into a fake out? We're going to go into a fake out. Wow, she's probably not going to flinch from the fake out. But we're going to go first. We have the rain. We have Swift Swim and we are rocking fake out. Let's go. Yeet. Nice. You're going to flinch. We're going to lose some of our HP considering we are a life orb right here. This guy still has all three Pokemon. We're going to gonna go into a weather ball right here. This weather ball should be able to take it out. Let's see how we do. Let's see exactly how we do here. But you guys saw that. We really flinched. I was like, boy. Are you going to tell me we flinched there? You're going to withdraw that. I don't think you know we're rocking a weather ball. I don't think you know we're coming in with a weather ball. Oh, yeah, dude. This will actually do more work on you. Weather ball coming out. Oh, yeah. Rain weather ball, baby. Yeah. Ludi Kogo, baby. This is what I like to see. Whooped. Whooped. What's your next Pokemon? What is your next Pokemon? Is it that Cloyster? I'll take it. I have a grass move. I'm rocking a grass move. Not afraid. Just can't have that Gyarados popping off. That's the thing. Is he going to go back into the Hydreigon? The Cloyster, baby. We're going to outspeed right here. We're going to go straight into an energy ball right here. No big deal. No big deal. Swift Swim coming up big. Coming up big right here. Coming up big. Come on. What do you think you like? What do you, like, what do you want? Are you going to hard swap out? I think he's going to hard swap out to the High Dragon, but either way, I think it should kill. Ooh, we, yo, we're in a nice position with this Ludicolo. Nice position. Can't believe this guy chose the Cloyster, dude. -na 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 -na. What is he doing? He's trying to plan. He is trying to plan. Are we eating him up? He doesn't want the sauce, baby. He doesn't want this, guys. He does not want this. Before this turn, if you're not subscribed already, scroll down a little bit. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Support me. Let's go. Finally, he uses a move. We're rocking out with Energy Ball. One. Oh, no. He's Focus Sash. This thing is Focus Sash. Dang it. This thing is Focus Sash. We're going to lose some of our HP. He's going to go with Icicle Spear. We should be able to eat that up. Dude, don't you dare tell me another Cloyster gets five hits on me. Like, don't you dare tell me. No, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into match three right here. I'm still mad about that last one. We should have won that. I'm surprised they got that flinch with the Hydra gun on us and hit us four times with that Icicle Spear. Like, come on, boy. We would have whooped it with the Mouse Swine, just faked out that Hydra gun. Game would have been over, but that's fine. I kind of showed off what I want to show off, which was that Rain and that um, Ludicola going off. But let's go. We're actually rocking out. Well, this guy's rocking out with a Gastrodon, Sylveon, Titar, Mimikyu. He's got the Hydra gun and the Togekiss. So... I think we're going to lead with the Ludicolo. I think Ludicolo could be a safe lead considering he's got the um, the Mimikyu and the Gastrodon. So, or if he leads with the Titar, that's fine too. But I think we're going to roll with Pelipper, Ludicolo, so we can set the rain. And do we go Mamoswine? Do we go Mamoswine? Mamoswine could be the call. Yes, Mamoswine is going to be the call considering it eats up that Hydreigon, takes out that Togekiss with it too, and it, that Titar. So that is going to be the call that we're going to make. It's going to be leading with the... Do we lead with the Ludicolo though? Let me see his team one more time. Let me see his team one more time if he leads with that Mimikyu. Um, 
Now we're gonna leave with the Pelipper, Seth Rain, go Ludicolo in the back end with Mammoth Swine, also in the back end. I actually call him Manny because he is Manny from the Ice Age. If you guys ever <laughs> saw that movie, it's Manny, <laughs> the big mammoth, dude. He's sick. I love those movies. Those movies are awesome. But let's go. Oh, this guy's got a sick trainer card. I got I need to upgrade my trainer card game. My trainer card game. <laughs> poo poo. <laughs> but let's go. Oh, it's on. <laughs> So he's gonna rock out with that Sylveon on that front spot, which is fine. We're gonna be rocking out with that Paloops. Palooper actually rocking out this front spot right here. I think we're gonna go straight into a Scald. I think a Scald would be a nice starting play. Maybe get a Poison. Actually, this thing could be rocking a T-Bolt. This thing could be rocking a T-Bolt, so we're actually gonna go into a Protect right off the bat. Let's see if this thing's rocking a T-Bolt. That is the real question, because if this thing's rocking a T-Bolt, we can go switch into our Mama Swine. Let's see. Let's see what this thing is rocking out. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's rocking a T-Bolt. A substitute. Ugh, bad play by us. Bad play by us. <sighs> okay, okay. We're we got to go straight into a Scald. We're going straight into a Scald here. This thing is able to set up a substitute. Take up this next hit. But this thing might be rocking T-Bolt. I can see it rocking T-Bolt. Let's go. Scald coming out here. Going to take out that substitute, I believe. Especially in the rain. Yeah, substitute did fade out. Please do not be rocking T-Bolt. Hyper boys. Mm, okay. We'll eat that up. We will eat that up. We will go first, however. It just showed that. Do we go Dynamax in the Scald? No, Pelper kind of already did his work. Pelper did already do his work. That thing has Quick Attack. Are you serious? Eat it, eat it, eat it. This game stinks. This game stinks out loud. This game stinks out loud. What Pokemon rocks Quick Attack? But it, it did come up clutch for him. I'll give him that. We're going to actually rock a Weather Ball. Go into our Swift Swim Ludicola right here, which is Life Dorb. I can see this Weather Ball just actually eating up and taking him out right here, which is fine by me. Fine by me. Let's go. Unless he's going to go for a Quick Attack. I mean, I don't know. Okay, he's going to withdraw Sylveon. That's fine. That's fine. Who are you going to out, go out into? Gastrodon. Even better. We're going to Swift Swim and get an Energy Ball off of that after we use this Weather Ball right here. Oh, this Storm Drained. Oh, no. His Special Attack is going to raise right here. But that's fine. We will outspeed. Go into an energy ball. Or do we go into a dyna? No, we're not going to Dynamax. We're going to go straight into this energy ball. I think we can take him out considering we are Life Orb. We are Life Orb. I think this guy's just trying to waste out the storm. I think this guy is trying to waste out the storm here. But we will go first considering we are Swift Swim. Come on. Take him out. Dude, this Life Orb could come up clutch here. If we can get this kill here with this Ludicolo. But Pelper did his job already. He's going to Dynamax. I still see us taking him out here. Or not taking him out. Still outspeeding. 100%. But we could always Dynamax and counteract him. I was actually thinking of doing that. Going straight into a Max Overgrowth. I should have just went right off the bat. I should have went with my instincts. Just went with the Dynamax here. But still. This is the plan. We should survive this next hit. We should survive this next hit. Take him out. Ugh. Um, we don't have to waste our Dynamax. If we survive this next hit, we are fine. Max Hailstorm is going to come out here. Can we eat this up? That's the real question. That actually takes out our rain. Eat it up, buddy. He does eat it up. Are we still faster than this Gastrodon is the real question. Is the real question. Did it start to hail? We're going to take some Buffet shots. Um, We go for the Fake Out. Are we still faster than the Gastrodon? I could guarantee the kill right here. I could guarantee it with the Dynamax, but I'm not. I'm going to save our Dynamax for this Mammoth Swine, considering this thing takes us out. Oh, we do go first. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. Take out that Gastrodon right there. We're going to get buffed by the hail. I know the Sylveon's going to come out. I know exactly what's going to happen. The Sylveon is going to come out, roll out with a quick attack, which is fine by me. Take out our Ludicolo, but we still have our Dynamax. For our Mammoth Swine, that is exactly what I want to do. Boy, this rain team rocks, dude. That Ludicolo came up huge. Ludicolo came up huge, especially with the Swift Swim. Actually, outspeed that Gastron, which is beautiful. Which was beautiful, but yes, he is definitely going to go into the Sylveon. Yes, just go for a nice quick attack, which is fine. We're actually going to go for a Fake Out. See if we can actually get the first hit and actually just, just deal a little bit of damage. You guys know what I'm saying? I think we can actually deal a little bit of damage here. Fake Out here. Yes, Fake Out does pop out. How'd it fail? How'd it fail? That's the real question. Boy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It gets a quick attack off. We still are rocking our Choice Scarf Mammoth Swine. We are going to rock out with a, what's it called? It is actually hailing too. So why not go for a Max Hailstorm? Why not go for a Max Hailstorm? That would be beautiful. I believe, right? Hail does buff ice moves. Let's see. Let's see. We can actually just go into info, hit the Mammoth Swine, go down the hail. Let's see. Hail at the end of each turn. Okay, damages. 
Okay, it doesn't really help out ice moves, but still. Why not go into another Max Hailstorm? Let's go. Max Hailstorm popping out. We're going to Dynamax here. We need this. Uh, we are still Twist Scarf, so our speed is going to be flying through. What other Pokemon did he have? He had the Corvo, which we have Rock Slide for. Actually, I don't know if Rock Slide will do it. But we had Corvo. He had Corvo Dragapult, right? Right? That's what we had, but it's fine. We're chilling out right here. We're chilling out right here with this Mammoth Swine. Look at that. Bulk. Thick Manny the Mammoth right here. Manny right here is going to do some work. Go into the Max Hailstorm. Can we take this thing out with this Max Hailstorm? I'm hoping we can. Come on, do some work. Do some work. Wow, that thing survived on one. Like, is this a joke? Is this a joke? This thing really just survived on one. Like, is this a joke? Our special attack does fall. The hail will take it out. It's fine. We're lucky we did have the hail, but are you serious? That thing survived on one health. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, like, absolutely crazy. He's going to go into the Mimikyu, which is a rough play here. This is a tough play for us. We're going to go into the... Uh, we're going to stick with the Max Hailstorm right here. Take off his disguise. This is who I thought he was going to lead with. He's going to go with a play rough. Can we eat this up? We can eat it up. We can eat it up. Mimikyu's going to lose some HP. We're going to knock off his disguise here. And is this our last shot? Oh, no. We get one more shot here. So, you're saying there's a chance. All we got to do is be able to eat up one more hit. Because then we are truly scarp and we will get off the first hit. Unless he is rock and shadow sneak. Which could be the tough play here. The hail did stop. It's fine. What's he going to rock out with? Another play rough. Right, go into this max hail storm once again. Can we take him out? Please lord. Please lord. We're going into the max hail storm rather than other things. So we can get the buffet by the hail. We have to be able to take him out here. I wonder what he's going to go with. I do wonder what he is going to go with here. He's going to go for a Dazzling Gleam, a play rough. He's going to go for the play rough. We'll eat that up. So all we got to do is either take him out here. Okay, there we go. He's Life Orb. Can we take him out and win this match? Show it to me, please. Come on. Take him out. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted with this team. That is how you win this match. Let's get it, guys. We're going to be doing one more match with this team. Show it off a little bit more. So let's head into it. Here we go, hopping into our fourth and final battle for this video. This guy's rocking a Bronzon, Sylveon, Corviknight, Mimikyu, Titar, and a Wash Rotom. So, first thing I notice is that Bronzor and that, what's it called? The Bronzor and the Corviknight can get eaten up by fire. It can, it can. We could throw them off because this team can actually double as a drought team instead of a rain team, considering if you run the drought with the Nine Tails and then the Weather Ball with the Ludicolo, which could be nice, but it doesn't go faster in the drought. But it could still throw off people. So we actually might try to show off a little bit of Nine Tails and Ludicolo. But I see him rocking out with maybe the Mimikyu right off the bat or the Rotom Wash. So that's why I don't want to rock out with the Nine Tails off the bat in case he drops the Rotom Wash. That's why I think we're going to rock out with the Ludicolo in the front spot. Because Ludicolo can take out the Rotom Wash, the T-Tar, and then we can rock out with the Ninetales in the back with the Air Balloon, which is fine, which could do work. We are rocking Solar Beam with it, too, so that could work for the T-Tar. So we're going to go Ludicolo. We go Ludicolo in the front spot. We can go Doral down, but we're definitely bringing the Ninetales. We're going to go Ludicolo, uh, Ninetales, and... So I'm going to take out that Sylveon. Maybe the Mammoth Swine. I think, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go Ludicolo. And you know, Mama Swine and the Ninetales. Beautiful. Let's roll out. Let's roll out here and try to get this win to end off the video right here. But, dude, we are rocking out, guys. We are rocking out. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you guys are. If you are, let me know in the comment section down below and show by subscribing to the channel and smashing that like button for me. Seriously, it goes a long way, guys. You guys have no idea. But, yo, if you guys do have questions or anything about the game, about this team and anything, any natures and all that, like I said, you guys could use the rental code and all that. I'm going to leave a link to the website and all that. But you guys can also ask me a couple different questions about competitive Pokemon or anything. Just, you can just chat, all that good stuff. But we're going to rock out with the Ludicolo. This is why I want to rock out with the Ludicolo. Is Lightning actually super effective here? We're going to go for a fake out. Or no, we're going to go straight for an energy ball. There's no way this thing one-taps us with, uh, what's it called? With an electric move. Right? This thing, this thing cannot kill with the bolt. Is bolts? Mm, I might have made a big mistake. <laughs> I might have made a big mistake. <laughs> this is potential big mistake. Energy ball popping out. Can we one tap this thing? Can we one tap it? Show it! Ooh! Ooh wee! Let's go! Let's go! What a start. What a start, dude. I'm loving this team. But like I said, you can actually run this as a rain team. But like I said, I'm running this as a drought team right now. Or a potential drought team. Like, I can roll in with the Ninetales and the weather ball changes depending on the weather. 
and it does more damage like i think it rolls out like double damage or something which is, which is awesome it is a normal move without any weather but with the weather it changes towards it which is awesome this guy's communicating is this guy gonna call quits i can see this guy just throwing out pokemon calling it quits but who's he rolling with i can see him rolling out with the t-tar but no i no not rolling out with t-tar i can see him having the t-tar and then rolling out with either maybe the mimikyu or the uh what else was he rocking let's see let's see we can just see for ourselves right here yeah see the mimikyu like I said, Mimikyu is going to come out here. Perfect. We actually... Oh, no effect with the fake out. Ew. Um, Do we hard swap? Hmm, do we hard swap? We could hard swap. I don't really want to hard swap. Um, We're going to go to the energy ball. Knock off this... Uh, What's it called? This disguise for him. Which is fine. I want to hold on to that Ludicolo, though. But the energy ball will knock off the disguise. Which is not bad, dude. Energy ball rocks out, dude. Such a strong move. This guy's going to pop off here. Knock off just a little bit of health, I believe. Isn't that how it works? Let's see, this guy's busted. Yeah, knocks off a little bit of health. Kind of like a little spikes on him. But we're going to lose some HP due to the Life Orb. And he's going to go with the Play Rough here, which we should be able to eat up. Yes, we do eat up. Do I save the Ludicolo is a real question. Or do I rock out? We get first hits. Unless this thing's rocking Shadow Sneak. Unless this thing's rocking Shadow Sneak. It's okay. We're going to rock out with this Energy Ball. We're actually going to save the... Uh, yep, Shadow Sneak comes out. I know it. I know it. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to rock out into our Mammoth... Do we rock out into our Mammoth Swine? No. We're going to rock out into our nine tails right here with drought. We're going to go with a flamethrower right here. Do a little bit of extra damage. Reason I want to rock out with the nine tails is I believe he is rocking the T-Tar. I think he's rocking the T-Tar so we can set the drought and he might be able to run in with his uh, T-Tar and not know that we're rocking a balloon. Not know that we are rocking a balloon. We do float in the air with the air balloon. It just, it just told him, which is bogus. But we're going to rock out with this flamethrower right here. See if we can actually do some work. On him with this flamethrower. We should outspeed the Mimikyu unless he's rocking Shadow Seek. Yeah, there we go. Nine Tails using flamethrower. Can we take him out? Show off some Nine Tails gameplay here. There we go. Nice damage with the Nine Tails and the Drought. Shadow Claw is gonna pop out here, and we will outspeed unless he. Oh no, he's gonna Shadow Sneak us. He's gonna crit it. Of course, of course. Like what more? What more can you want? This guy gets a lucky crit right here. We are going to go for. We're dead. We're dead anyway. Um, this thing is Life Orb, so if we protect. If we protect, doesn't it still take damage, right? We're going to go for the protect. This thing's going to go for the shadow seek. Hopefully that life orb can actually take it out and we can get a shot on whatever he uses. Right? Would the life orb still take out damage from him? Let's see. No, it does not. Mm, man. He's just going to go for another shadow sneak. No big deal. Uh, No big deal. We'll just go with the flamethrower. This guy is done. He's done, though. It's Mimikyu Shadow Sneak. He's doing some work. But still, I still think we're good. We are still rocking our Dynamax. Does he have his Dynamax, too? I know he does. We are Choice Scarf, though. We are truly scarfed. But there you go. He goes down. We actually throw out our ma Mammoth Swine right here. We're both going to Dynamax. I know this for a fact. We're both going to Dynamax here. Depending on what he has, actually, will determine what if we actually Dynamax, like, right off the bat. Actually, we probably are going to Dynamax right off the bat. What am I saying? We got to use our Dynamax. Who's he have? Is it the T-Tar? The Sylveon. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Shiny, too. That thing's gorgeous. That thing's gorgeous. We are going to go into the... We're going to Max Hailstorm. Let's see. Max Rockfall? Max Quake? Or Max Hailstorm? Special Defense could drop with a Max Quake. We're gonna go in with the Max Quake. Is this thing rocking a fire move? If this thing's Max Rocks Flare, it is game over. It could be potentially game over. Hopefully this guy doesn't find a Max like that. <laughs> That'd be huge. But he has, we have the Drought rolling here. So if this Sylveon is rocking like a Flamethrower or a Fire move, it is gonna murk on us and take us out cleanly. But look at my boy, Manny the Mammoth, coming up huge. Coming up huge right here. Let's go. Come on, Mammoth Swine. Come on, show them what you're made of. Show them what you're made of. I was going to say, you not Dynamaxing? I'm going to be like, stupid. But she is. She is Dynamaxing. I love seeing all the cool different Pokeballs that people catch Pokemon in. Like that. That is, what is that? The Friendship Ball or something? But Dynamax, shiny Sylveon. I think it's gorgeous shiny. I love the blue. I love the blue and the pink. How It just mixes very well. Both those colors are gorgeous with that thing. But let's actually see... What this thing does. Uh, she should outspeed me. Oh, no, we do. With Max Quake. Can we do some work on it? All we gotta do is survive a hit. All we gotta do is survive a hit. All we gotta do is survive a hit. Can Manny the Mammoth come up bigger than ever? We get a crit. Yeah. That's why I like to see the crits coming to haunt you. And our special defense does raise. Max Flare comes out. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. Manny the Mammoth. Manny the Mammoth comes in clutch. We're gonna go with a Max Quake. And ladies and gents, ladies and gentlemen, we win this battle. Let's go. The crit 
actually comes back to haunt her. She gets a lucky crit on us. We get a lucky crit on her to counteract everything and get that W in the long run. Let's go. That's what matters most. That W right there. Perfect, yo. We rocked out with this team. I love this team so much. It was awesome. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Here's one last look at the team right here. If you guys want to check it out, the rental code is down below. I will leave a link in the description below to other rental teams if you want to use them. You guys can also let me know in the comment section down below what other teams you would like to see. Or, or like a certain Pokemon. If you want me to run like an Appleton team or something. Or just like a team with a certain Pokemon on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.